We're back with another lesson and today we're going to look at exponential laws. Law number one. When we have bases which are the same, here in this case we have A and we have exponent M and exponent N, then we write the base and then we add the exponents. So law number one, when the bases are the same and we multiply, we add the exponents. Let's have an example quickly. In this example, we have a base A, which is the same. So we write our base and then we add the exponents. And our answer will be A to the power of it. That's law number one. Another example, we have y to the power of 3 multiplied with y to the power of 6. So we write our base, we add our exponent, the answer is y to the power of 9. Law number 2 says when we have the same base and we divide and then we don't add the exponent but we subtract the exponents. 8 to the power of 5 divided by 8 to the power of 3. We write our base, subtract our exponents, and our answer will be a to the power of 2 or a squared. We can also write it in this way when we divide. We still have the same base and we still subtract the exponent. And there we have it, law 2, when we divide and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. Law number 3, when we have a to the power of m in brackets and outside of the bracket we have an exponent, we multiply the exponents. Remember it's not like law number 1, where we have two bases that we multiply with each other and then we add, not similar, here we have brackets and this n applies to both of these, a and the m here. So we multiply the exponent. y squared brackets to the power of 2 will be equal to y to the power of 4. x squared to the power of 5 brackets 3 exponent on the outside. We multiply this exponent with that one. And our answer is x to the power of 15. Law number four. When we have two unknowns within brackets and exponent on the outside, then this exponent here is applicable to both unknowns on the inside of the bracket. And we have it as a to the power of m multiplied with b to the power of m. Example, we have 2 times 3 squared. We can also write this as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied with 3 to the power of 2. Another example, we have x multiplied with y inside the bracket and 5 on the outside of the bracket. And our answer will be x to the power of 5, y to the power of 5. Because whatever is on the inside of the bracket, the exponent is applicable to both of those. One more thing that we need to remember is that anything to the power of 0, that will be equal to 1. 10 to the power of 0 is 1. A hundred thousand to the power of zero is one. ABC to the power of zero is equal to one. But we mustn't confuse it with this. The zero exponent is only applicable to the A here. So this will be equal to two. The A to the power of zero is one. And that answer is equal to two. Now look at this difference. There the zero is applicable to everything that's inside the bracket. So everything inside the bracket 
to the power of zero is equal to one. So let's have a look at these following examples. I've written everything out here, but for each example, we are going to look at our rules that I've written in this little box here. First one, two to the power of five times two to the power of three. Which rule would that be? Obviously it would be rule one, where if the bases are the same and we multiply, and then we add the exponents, and that will be two to the power of eight. 3 to the power of 9 divided by 3 to the power of 3. Rule number 2, which says we have the base, but then we subtract because we divide. And that's 3 to the power of 6. In brackets, we have x to the power of 6 with 3 on the outside. Which rule will this be? It will be rule number 3. And our answer will be x. 6 multiply by 3, 5y squared, which rule do we look at? Still rule number 3 or law number 3, where this square is applicable to both the 5 and the y, so that will be 5 squared and y squared, or you can write it as 25. Here we have something to the power of 0, and we know anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1, but the 0 is only applicable to the x. So x to the power of 0 is 1, and when we multiply 1 with 25, that will still be 25. So there we have our exponential laws that we're going to work with, and we're going to use these laws to solve lots and lots of problems. I'm not.